The first thing that I hear from the non-first responder community in Lower Manhattan is, you know, oh, I, you know, look, I, I'm sick, but I don't deserve anything. I'm not a first responder. I just, I just lived here. I just studied here. I just went to school here. I just raised a family here. Your presence here was an act of courage and resilience. The first responders, I, I'm in awe, but I also am in great awe of those who came back to a war-torn neighborhood that was clearly toxic, we knew it, but you stayed anyway, and you allowed this area to grow and to become the hub, but it's, it's your courage and your resilience that brought this place back. So please, I urge you, access what you are owed. Over the last decade, we have all fought very hard so that everyone has access to the healthcare that they need. It is very important that every community member who lived anywhere south of Houston understands that you are covered. You are part of the group of people that have guaranteed health care if you have a 9-11 related disease. I was on my way to work when the first plane hit. I was working for Goldman Sachs. I actually worked for them for a total of 21 years. I always thought that that those programs were geared for the firemen and the police officers, but I, I'm one of the victims of that. So we have taken on, with all of these advocates here, the task of trying to get everyone to understand that they have rights, and it is imperative that they sign up. My law firm represents over 15,000 people in the 9-11 uh, community, and the majority right now are first responders, but every single day, we hear from more and more survivors because we're doing this outreach. Basically, to be entitled to compensation, you need to prove that you were below Canal Street or on the Fresh Kills landfill, either caught in the dust cloud on 9-11, or for 24 hours during the month of September 2001, or for 80 hours, which is just two full work weeks between 9-11 and May 30th of 2002. And you need to get two people to sign an affidavit attesting to the fact that I saw him. I worked next to Joe. I went to school next to Francis. That's all it takes. There's a reason why my firm takes all this so personally. I have six young people who work for me who have lost a parent or a spouse as a result of World Trade Center toxins. Nine people in my law firm, including me, are cancer survivors. The information you get from us is going to be compassionate, and it's our pleasure to help you.